Carmen Duarte. The name of my business is True North Candles. I always wanted to have my own business and do something on my own and so this is just a great way to do that and it's a lot of fun. I enjoy the process of it because it's usually just quiet and I'm working with my hands and I'm moving around and I'm creating something, you know, it can mix colors and mix fragrances and it can be something really unique and it's just a lot of fun. When I first started making candles, I was going to do it one year for Christmas and so I was working in the kitchen and I just had a little few little molds. I had just gone to Michael's and bought a few little things and started making it on the stove. I, um, to learn this, I just kind of taught myself I was going to take a class and, and the class got canceled and so I just bought stuff and bought some books, did research on internet and a lot of just trial and error. Uh, when I first started my career, um, it was kind of scary, you know, kind of exciting, but scary too. It was something I always wanted to do, to have my own business, to have my own product. Um, so, you know, to actually get out there and do it is a little nerve-wracking. And But um, having my friend do this with me made it easier because then there was two of us. I'm just not too picky about things. Things don't have to be perfect for me. I don't have to have a plan when I start doing something. I just kind of start working and then things come together. I believe that my art is New Mexican because of the fragrances that we use and the colors. Um, like for example, um, we started around Christmas time. So instead of having a candle that was like home for Christmas, we called it Feliz Navidad and blended it and I started thinking about what represents Christmas in New Mexico and we have a candle that's a bizcochito and it actually has the fragrances in it that you heard from the ingredients of the cookie. To choose the shapes and smells, uh, for the shapes like these square candles, um, basically we wanted just something different, something that not everybody has. And um, same with the, the smells and the fragrances, you know, something unique. Um, but also something that, you know, we can pour because when you're doing candles and, you know, it's in such a large quantity, sometimes the fragrances can be overwhelming. Um, yes, my, va my family helps a lot. Um, my husband will, like, load, you know, bring boxes of wax in for me and that's a big help. Um, when we do Wayne's Art Fest, he helps set up the display and tear it down. And my daughters do different things. My older daughter's done, like, a website and they'll help package the candles my younger daughter does that too and it's a nice feeling to have something that we all do together because we all benefit from this I think what makes uh, my art unique is um, well the, like it was some of the colors that we choose some of the fragrances I think it's things that people have never thought of before and uh, we kind of did that intentionally because you know if we want something to be unique then it can't be like anything else out there okay this is my workspace this is um, kind of where everything starts. Um, the wax comes in slabs like this that comes in 50 pound um, boxes in a raw state. Um, and we get a pre-blended pre wax. There's waxes that you have to add stuff to for shrinking and things like that. But this is one of our favorites. We just like the outcome of it, what it looks like and the ease of using it. And so it comes in slabs like this. They're 10 pound slabs and you have to break it up to get it into the melter. And you've got to load wax up into the top there and get that filled up. It's a melting plate when you do pillar candles. They're not flat on the bottom and um, so you have to put them on here to get them flat and even so when you stand them on a surface they're not wobbly. It takes about three hours or so to melt all the wax and it's got about 20 pounds. It'll make about a hundred of these small ones. After you pour the candles you gotta wait about um, five to ten minutes before you can put the wicks in just depending on um, how cold it is in the room. And, and then you just kind of put the wicks in and once they're all set and then you let them cure for at least three hours and then you have to melt the wax. You leave a little bit of wax at the end and then you melt it down again and pour it one more time to level it off. Okay, so um, what we do with our square votives, and this is probably 80% of our sales, is we package them on these little Talavera tiles. And people just love them. You can burn them right there on the candle. So we buy these tiles in cases. 
And we just make sure that they're nice and flat because, of course, you don't want it wobbly when you're putting a candle on them. And we just put the candle in. And we tie a little card at the top of them. We make these little cards, too, and it has the name of our company. It says True North Candles and our logo, and then it'll have the fragrance and some burning instructions and, of course, our website address. And we just kind of tie them up like that, and it makes it a cute little gift. And we do that with some of our bigger ones, too, but this is mainly what we sell. This is the one thing that tourists love the most. And I think that's what makes them pretty unique. Um, in a week, um, usually I'll make about probably average 300 candles in a week. Um, we sell our candles at different little gift shops around New Mexico, um, Weems Gallery, the airport um, here in Albuquerque, and in Phoenix carries our candles. We have a few gift shops in Old Town and in Santa Fe. I want people to get enjoyment from my art, to just um, see the beauty in it and the uniqueness of it, and also to share it with other people. What keeps me going about my art is it's just, it's a part of me. It's something that I've put a lot of time and effort into. And um, I feel like when I do it, I can actually pour myself into something. And so it's a part of who I am, a part of my life. And, um, and it gives me a lot of flexibility. I get to be home with my kids. I don't have to work for somebody else. And that keeps me going. If I could put how I felt about this cannabis in one word, it would be blessed. Never came to so I thought